Necromancers rise, hope dies, and darkness comes to the land of death. All in Death Wizards, the newest game from Uncle Adam and myself. That's right, Snarling Badger Studios is back, and we've got a new game for you. If you're a fan of grim, dark, and gritty classics in tabletop games and role-playing games, then this is a game for you. Death Wizards is a miniatures agnostic game of necromantic skirmish combat. It features both solo, co-op, and skirmish mode, or verses. You can get it right now. The PDF and book are available in a link in the description for only $18. In addition, there's a full set of supplementary cards you can buy that have all the stats and everything for your necromantic minions, the heroes that will oppose you in your missions, and even the layer you'll build out, all also for only $18. Everything is linked down in the description, so check it out. In Death Wizards, you play the role of an immortal necromancer, building your horde. But not every necromancer is the same. You choose your specific necromantic legacy. Do you want to be a dread horde master? Uh, one who relies on massive numbers of skeletons and zombies and simple undead to swarm over your opponents? Or are you a little more refined? Uh, building out one specific, perfect, beautiful creation, or maybe a few of them. Stitching them together with loving care so that they may destroy all of your enemies. Perhaps you want to be in the thick of it, harvesting the souls and bones and gristle yourself as a War Reaper. There are six different necromantic legacies to choose from in the game. And when it comes to building out your horde, you have lots of options. There are all sorts of undead that you can recruit, build, or create. Everything from simple skeletons and zombies, ghouls and ghosts, up to things like death knights and vampires. You'll make the decision of exactly what undead are under your sway and you'll use to destroy those who oppose you. Over the course of a campaign, you'll be able to learn new uh, necromantic powers, gain new infernal abilities, and continue to build your lair, the dark place you call home and from which you terrorize the countryside. In a campaign, you can intermingle solo co-op and skirmish play interchangeably, continually advancing your necromancer no matter what mode you're playing in. So whether you're alone, with friends, or against friends, your necromancer can still continue their journey toward Dark Apotheosis. Speaking of the missions you're going to undertake, in skirmish mode, you play against other necromancers. Your friends and you square off to see who is the ultimate dark power in the land of death. In story play, whether you're solo or cooperative, you're the villain, you're the bad guy, you're the proactive protagonist. You get to determine exactly what you'll do. Maybe you'll attack a local village to uh, recruit uh, some fresh new friends. Maybe you'll assault an arcane college trying to steal their ancient lore. Maybe you'll try to kill the king. Uh, the story missions are all clearly labeled with difficulties so that you can decide exactly what mission you want to undertake depending on the rewards you're aiming for. And every mission can be played in normal or advanced mode, hard mode, so you get to decide and even have a lot of replayability to undertaking the same mission multiple times, but with very different challenges and rewards each time. Death Wizards is simple to learn, but there's a lot of nuance to it. Between your individual necromancer, the dark powers you'll use, the undead you'll choose, the special abilities you'll gain, the layer that you'll build out, and the friends that you'll choose to co cooperate with or fight against, there is a lot to unlock inside Death Wizards, and I really hope you have a great time with this game. As I said, Death Wizards is available now. It's only $18 for the PDF and the book. You can find it down in the description. Now, down there, you'll also find the link to the cards. That's both on Snarling Badger Studios. Just hit that link. You can go, you can buy the book, you can buy the cards, everything you need. But if you've got more questions, don't worry. You can always ask them down in the comments or on Snarling Badger on our website. You'll also find a full battle report. So if you want to see exactly how the game plays as I take you through one of the first intro missions, you can check that out. Adam also has a play loop on his channel that shows you kind of how the mechanics work at a high level. 
And we also have things like a blog post that shows you all the different places you can find cool undead models to stock your own personal hoard. Adam and I had so much fun building Death Wizards. And I know if you're a fan of grim and dark classic fantasy like me, that you're gonna love this. I really hope you'll check out the game. Don't forget, everything can be found down in the links below. Feel free to ask any questions down in the comments about Death Wizards. It's been a long road for us to get here, but we are so excited to be able to give you this game. It is truly something that I have had a tremendous amount of fun playing and playtesting, and I think you're really going to love it. So check out those links, ask any questions, and have a lot of fun on your own road to death.